Hey people, Assalamu alaikum, hello, bonjour, good morning, good morning, whatever language you speak. Uh, it's uh, Sunday, December 26, uh, 2021. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, my name is Ahmed. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma back in 2015, more than six years ago. I decided not to ruin my body. Or not to nuke my body and uh, I went natural I'm still stage one however I do not take any medicine and if you follow my channel you know um, somehow uh, exactly what is uh, my methodology okay so uh, what I want to say today is this is a little bit different video but in no way I want you to understand that this is kind of like a depressing one or it might be even um, putting off my clients that I would uh, give up the methodology that has been working for the past six years basically no medicine and following some natural supplements and, and diet and so on it has worked I do not have any crap systems or I do not have any organ damage whatsoever um, basically what happened is about mid-November I made my uh, three-month work blood and I went to my hematology and surprisingly my numbers like which is the lambda chain were the highest ever in six years uh, about 1500 and some numbers um, so what happened in about four months if you see my last video is I was anemic and being anemic is one of the elements of the crap systems uh, if you're anemic that means basically other problems start to pour in and you have to really work hard on your uh, getting your hemoglobin and iron um, up my iron was about eight and uh, as far as I remember the uh, minimum has to be like about uh, 20 although that I again like multiple myeloma is one of the s diseases that you could have a stage 3 and you have basically zero I say zero symptoms you could run for uh, I don't know three miles you could lift weights you could live a normal life however at some people there's no really any symptoms so um, uh, basically as I mentioned I, um, the doctor told me that I have to start to eat meat and um, of course as you know you start to eat meat then that will develop cancer I live over here in Germany um, I am actually was born in Asia and I immigrated to the USA a long time ago uh, lived 25 years in Florida so you guys know exactly when I tell you like the food is poisoned in the USA well over here there's not a lot of GMO however what I have started to do back about four or five months ago is I start to eat meat maybe about five <clears throat> five days a week as well as also other organs like like liver and uh, kidneys and and so on and so on uh, the results came back and I used to also do the bone marrow like I uh, thought like I would replace my bad bone marrow with a good bone marrow. Uh, this was a little bit bad idea. And then I stopped doing the bone marrow. If you see my other video, then you will know what I'm talking about. And after I kind of like still five times meat and only two times a fish. Uh, results were not good, which reflected back in November and the numbers are still high um, or I, let's say it's gotten high because the last time it was over 1400 um, I'm going back to the States very soon but uh, what I have done is uh, the hematology gave me um, iron tablets which again is not kind of like it's not a good idea it's not a bad idea um, if, if, if you don't know why the iron also can promote cancer I'll put a couple of links down uh, but basically yeah that's I, I, I kind of like downgraded down my uh, meat portions to only one 
uh, portion uh, the whole week. The other meat, I uh, eat fish. Um, what 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 I want to tell you is basically, and I'm gonna do like the, the blood work that I'm gonna do either like in February when I'm in the USA or I'm back here uh, back in March. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, the doctor was a little bit um, let's say concerned. She under she uh, ordered a C scan. Uh, C scan was completely um, came flawless. I don't have any other symptoms. I don't have any bone damage, which was tremendously very good. So um, that's like the good part. Um, I have to work on getting this loan and uh, my lambda chain. So I'm back to my uh, taking my Boswellia about two grams a day, as well as like taking the uh, curcumin four grams. I, I stopped taking the curcumin uh, tablets or like capsules maybe about uh, five, six months ago. And I was like getting it from only from the natural source. But however, I have to confess that it's not every day that I cook with curcumin and it was quite tough to get my eight grams every day. So I'm back to this also as well. Uh, what to do when your best is not good enough is you keep fighting, okay? Uh, you just like have to talk to your buddy and know exactly what, what it needs. Don't just like assume like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do chemo because a couple of numbers. I remember when I was diagnosed six years ago by a um, non-hematology doctor. I do not remember exactly, but he was an old doctor, like about maybe 67 years. And he told me where I was born. And I thought it was like I was born in Egypt. He said, oh, you guys like in the Mediterranean, you have all those diseases and you live with it. And you don't know that you have these diseases, but you live a normal life. Remember, some diseases, like for example, diabetes, you could live a normal life, okay? You, you, just like any other person. Yeah, you might have some symptoms. Yeah, you might have some stuff that you really cannot do. However, it's your choice. Whether you wanna um, go the, the drug way, you, you do the chemo, uh, and just simply like stay float, like don't eat sugar, don't eat bad, bad stuff, and so on and so on. Uh, so keep monitoring. Uh, that's my status right now. Uh, I gotta go, guys. I promise you, I have a lot of time somehow before I leave to the states in less than ten days. So um, beautiful Munich. Um, uh, I'll take you in a tour, and uh, I will record several videos hopefully about several other topics again. All right, have a great day where you are. I gotta go and uh, take care. I'll see you soon.